are over 7 million mentally ill and emotionally disturbed children in America. Uh, oh, we should go. This program is about some of those children and the institutions they live in. Children of Darkness, next on non-fiction television. This program contains language and sequences some viewers may find disturbing. 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 His name is Brian. Brian believes that somebody is following him. Mark, Mark, Mark! Brian suffers from mania and schizophrenia. He's been this way since he was four years old. One day, if he's lucky, Brian may go to a group home for the mentally ill. But there are just five in all of Pennsylvania, with just 45 young people living in them. Many of the children are chronically mentally ill. They'll never see what we see, hear what we hear, think in ways we do. They're psychotic, schizophrenic. They suffer from organic brain damage and autism. Diane comes from a prominent Tucson family. She was a straight-A student and won a scholarship to the University of Arizona. But drinking and drugs became problems she couldn't control. Denise ran away from Eastern State Hospital just before her 18th birthday. Neither hospital officials or friends know where she is or what's happened to her. 17-year-old Andrew Zamora. He was agitated, withdrawn, suspicious. His diagnosis, acute paranoid disorder. In the United States today, five million acutely mentally ill children need treatment of a very different kind. Half a million are psychotic, two million schizophrenic. One in five suffers from depression. They need immediate psychiatric help. They're teenagers who have victimized others and themselves. The kids are almost all white from upper middle class and wealthy homes. These are children who have acted out, often violently. More than half of the children you've seen in this film will retain their illnesses into adult life, and most of them will be sent to adult institutions. For parents, what looms ahead is frightening. A realization that their children may never get well, that their lives may be spent in institutions. I'd be a lot freer if people like you were put in prison as retaliation for the collective crime of racism, anti-Semitism, misogyny, and homophobia. All you fucking God-botherers are war criminals and liars and charlatans. Atheism forever!